After you've got Pro 7 set up, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is make a new presentation. So this is your first presentation in ProPresenter 7. The first thing that you might notice if you're familiar with ProPresenter 6 and 5 and you know earlier versions is that it's completely reorganized. So that does come with a couple of things that are different than you're probably used to. So let's start by creating a new presentation. Actually a new playlist. So let me go ahead and I will just call this today's date. And we're going to want to put stuff in there. So in previous versions, you would just uh, go to the library, find it, drag it, drop it. But you'll notice uh, something here. If I go into the library here, I've got all my stuff. And I can drag and drop it. The moment that I select the presentation, that goes away. This is a common area for both what's in the library and what's in the playlist. So how do we deal with that? Well, first off, let's uh, do Command F for find. You can also, I believe, go into Edit Search. That'll do it as well. I'm on the Mac version here, so bring that back up. And let's see here. I want You'll notice, too, that this searches all your libraries, and you have a choice here between searching the library or searching Song Select. I'm not going to search Song Select because I don't have an account that um, works for that, but that's where you would do that. This is Song Select. So, let's look for Amazing Grace. Okay, there's Amazing Grace. And if I select that, I can just drag that into my playlist. Now, I want and can it be, but I don't want uh, the version that's in the default library. I want the one that's in this test library. So I'm going to do a search there. Can it? And you'll notice test library. So I'm going to drag and drop that one. And then I can just keep doing that. Um, let's say I want to add the sermon. I've got a sermon from uh, last year that I'm going to add. That's just an example. And so on and so on. Uh, let's do a pre-service loop too. Do I have one of those? Oh, Element Transitions Copy. That's one. So I'll put that at the beginning here and also at the end. So that's a basic order of things. I'm going to clear that out. Now if I want to get rid of it, I can just click on something else and that gets rid of it and now I have my uh, just my basic order of worship like I have had before so that's an easy way to bring that up um, I do want to do one thing a little bit differently though because this is ProPresenter 7 I'm going to change this pre-service loop so that it only shows up on the announcements layer. So I'm going to click announcements here and screen 2 is the one I want to look at and now let's go to I think it's under screens um, and it looks. So this way I can say with uh, 
screen two, I want the announcements layer not to show, and screen three, I want it to show. Let's get rid of all the uh, other stuff here. Actually, I want to go ahead and leave everything except that, and that has the default um, presentation used to be called template and let me click save we'll close that out we'll clear everything and let's see if that does what I want it to do yeah so I'm looking at screen two and this isn't showing up but if I look at screen three, it does. So what I can do is, let's say this is during practice, I want screen three going out to the lobby TVs, and I need to go through with the band and uh, do their worship practice. And if I do this, you'll notice that I'm affecting only screen two, and the announcement loop is still going on screen three. So that's how to create uh, your very first presentation and make use of the announcement layer with ProPresenter 7.